got the tons of money. Onward and upward. Okay. You go with sailing. Hey, it's time to load everything aboard us. Spree. Yep. Gonna fit everything in there, including everything into the ice box. Let's go. Not easy towing the dinghy out of that dock. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, it was a beautiful day for a sail. Cockpit kind of messy. Looking forward. Ended up racing the main and the jib, and there's my grandnephew's boat sailing alongside as we're heading toward the fort. And this is what it looked like as we were sailing into Fort McRae. And of course, I have to take a lot of pictures of Osprey. You know, kind of proud of the way she looks as I'm rowing around in the dinghy before going ashore to visit and see what all the other boats look like in the Florida 120. It's a very small boat flotilla that basically does about 120 miles in four days. It looks like, uh, in fact, this particular the boat here is only seven and a half feet long. Imagine about that short. And of course, other very small boats. Osprey being larger and needing four feet of water, it had to anchor off the beach while these other boats were able to beach themselves. And of course, uh, have a food on the beach and camp out on the beach. And But other boats kept arri arriving as the day progressed, sailing back and forth, making their grand entrance to join the rest of the fleet. I think there was about 29 boats overall all, uh, including Osprey. But a lot of good people from all over the country. California uh, is the farthest. Uh, I think Wyoming had one participant, and mostly from everywhere but the Pensacola area. And of course, I'm ready to sit and read and enjoy the beautiful day. And after reading and charging my phone back in the water, rowing back to shore and taking more pictures of, guess what? Osprey in the anchorage with all the other boats. And then of course came dinner. One of the guys cooked up a lot of burgers. It was very, very good. And then I rowed back out to, sun, uh, to Osprey for sunset. And of course had to row again around and see what it looks like from both sides before tying up, coming on board and then watching the sun go down and it was gorgeous. 